Но я говорю, Enter the sheepfold by the door, or glide by the other way. That man is in thief 
and the robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To so him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. Praise the Lord. Now where is he leading, leading them to? The best places. Is it the best places? Yes. Hallelujah. Where is he leading them to? Yes. I said, where is he leading them to? Yes. What he says, the sheep hear his voice. He gives them instructions and he calls his own sheep and, and leads them. When he has brought them out all, when he has brought out all his own, he goes before them. And the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Verse 11. And the good shepherd, the good shepherd lays his life for the sheep. Who is the higher hand and not the shepherd? Who do not own the sheep? Sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees, and the wolf snatches them and scatters them. He flees because he's the higher hand and gets the only for sheep. Again, he says, I'm the good shepherd. I know my own, and my own know me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want us to know that we are coming to a relationship. And in that relationship, we have a shepherd who is describing what he does. It's not a shepherd who stands by your side. Is a shepherd who goes ahead of you to prepare the best places for you. Hallelujah. And all he wants for you is to follow the instructions. He tells you to turn right, you turn. He tells you to turn left, you turn. And he's taking you somewhere. And that's why the guy was saying, though you're beginning to small. Because the shepherd is leading you. Your latter end will be good. Amen. But the important thing in what we are doing is that the Bible says they hear his voice. He gives instructions and they hear his voice. The Bible says in Isaiah 32 21, he said he would have walked and he went behind what he behind you saying, This is the way. Praise the Lord. I'm happy for you. Every difficulty and problem that you do not quite know what to do about any, you will hear instructions. Yeah. And let me tell you that the instructions will be very clear. Yeah. I said they will be very clear. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm not ready for long this morning. I said they will be very clear. There's a man called Gideon in Judges chapter 7. And uh, he was fighting against the Midianites. And as a commander, he prepared a lot of people to follow them. And God called all of them and he gave them the three. Or two, three hundred rather. Three hundred. And the man has never fought with three hundred soldiers in all his life. Never. You go with thousands. You have a strategy, strategy. Then God told him, God has an instruction. He says, carry these 300 people. We throw them for you. We are looking at God, God was looking at you. When God sweats out, he says, I know what your problem is. You are worried, you are afraid. He says, I can help. He says, what He says, move from where you are. Just move some distance. And when you move, Yes, I know what he said. Get your, get your school. He said, we are finished. He said, we are completely finished. See this man with his God when they come here. After that one, the spirit was lifted up. Instructions will come for you. It will lift up your spirit. I'm trying to speak to you today because this is what the Lord is making me speak to you. I think instructions are coming. Yeah. Very good. Hallelujah. Young men, instructions are 
coming? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. I got an instruction for that one, my Islamic government. It's an instruction that we need to go around the world. I'm not saying that that's the only evidence that can show you. I'm not for the evidence. Hallelujah. Instruction. <laughs> Look at the big near pastor. Look at the big near pastor. Instruction. Hallelujah. I'm a professor today by instructions. Instructions. Until I wanted to win medicine, God said the day is free, that's where you will win. When you pass the test, the promotion, you will pass. Tell somebody to say, you will pass. Now let me read you some instructions. Hallelujah. Let's go to Romans 12. I'm to read you some instructions. Romans 12. I'm reading from verse 8, 9, nine. It says, in the instructions, Let your love be genuine. Above what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. I'll do one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. Look at this, it says, Rejoice in hope, verse 12. Be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayers. I like number 13. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Are you receiving it? Yes, now let's move on. Verse 14. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not cause them. Rejoice with those who weep. Who rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own eye. Or in your own sight. Repay no evil for evil. But give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. Look at verse 18. If possible. If possible. So first it depends on you. Leave quarreling with everybody. You know the people like for it. You know the way they know you're a child of God. It's only a person of this. The Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers. Where will they be called? And that's what Abraham demonstrated. He was so rich in the, in the, in the Nephew or cousin? What about anyone of the two? What about you? Nephew of your cousin. What about you? And the, the one that's a leg for him. And he kept it going, oh, send him for him, let him be. Let him not, let him not, let him not. He said, young man, come here. He said, Choose. Any way you choose, I give you. And the Lord chose. And he, he took one of them. See, there's a degree to which you don't know that you don't struggle about this. You know what the Bible says? I like that scripture. I think I'm first going to know first Chronicles 29. Well, he says, riches are all of all of you, and he reigns over all. He says, power and might in his hands. He says, it is in his hands to make great and to give strength to all. That's the God of the And he really had to. The man took that side. As he got there, God had told him, I would say, he's gone. <laughs> he said, 
better in some way. Look to the front. Look to the front. Look to the front. It's the nice. last. Don't open your mouth. The people that know they are God. One day, you remember I told you that God is good. One day, you remember. Because the way you are sitting on the way I was to remember that I was there as an hour start. But when you listen, we receive instructions. And we took those instructions.
na nosso filho. So how do we receive instruction? Because for me that is more important. Number one, instructions only come to the sheep. Instructions only come to the sheep. You don't go around instructing you to instruct your own people you know. Instructions only come to the sheep. He says the sheep hear my voice and they follow. The Bible says the magic boy was led by the Spirit, was following the Spirit. So if you are not listening to me, if you have the habit of choosing what you want to do, if you are not Lord and Savior, don't bother. He won't waste the instructions on you. You know what the Bible says in the He said, Do not be strong pills for swine. Read that scripture in Matthew 7 6. I don't know. I, 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 I'm not sure about it. You know, like, you know I like that scripture. He said, Do not go to the same because they will not only match it, they will attack you now. So you don't give words, you don't give instructions to anybody. I, a young man came to my house and told me about the problem of having his marriage. Says, I think I'm using my wife. I said, I'm using my I left my house, I went to the bank where the person was born. Then we drove out together and I spoke to her. When we came back to the bank, she said, Sir, say thank you for what you're talking to me. I said, No. So you don't understand. I said, The only reason why I'm talking to you is because you are listening to me. If then you don't listen to me, what would I do here? I don't throw them to swans. I know the kind of people that throw things to. So you have to get God's instructions. Be the follower of Jesus. Number two, don't just be a follower of Jesus. Be a follower that pleases him. I like to see the scripture in John chapter 18, 29. He said, My father has not left me. He said, My father is always with me because I do only the things, only the things, only the things that please him, only the things that please him. Let me say you, times are very hard. And I want to thank you, Pastor, for the word you picked about the day, you know, in times like this. And then uh, facing reality, facing some by faith. Yeah, facing reality by faith. Yes. Times are tough. And there's a lot of temptations. Not just for the young ones, but even for old people like us. There are temptations. But you see, I've come to the time in my life I'd rather please God than please me. Because I know that if I please Him, not only will He write my name in the book of life, on this earth, He will shape them strong and mighty on our account. Amen? Amen. Amen. Tell somebody to please the Lord. Okay, let me let me put that out. Make God happy. Pastor, 
Sedi ti se kakar je priđao, a ovdje ti se kakar je priđao, a ovdje ti se kakar je priđao.
I can't call your name, but I can say this to you. There is something that God is going to do for you. I don't know how to but the one will come and it will settle that issue forever. I say forever. Oh. 